everyone and welcome back to Kaylin's 7 Days of Christmas. We are on day 6, I can't believe it. We go home to Ireland for Christmas in 2 days. Where did that time go? I just cannot get over it. But anyway, for today's video I am doing the Get to Know Me tag. It's a little bit different to my last few, but it's one I've been meaning to film for ages and I figured that I have a few new subscribers over the last week or two, so I thought it might be a good chance for you to get to know me a little bit better. And yeah, these videos are just fun ones to film as well, so I always enjoy them. So yeah, I have some questions on my phone here that I got off Google and I'm gonna get right into it and start answering them for you. Okay, so question number one, what is your middle name? Marie. Marie is my middle name. My full name is Kaylin Marie Quiva Fox. So yeah, that's my name. Don't wear it out. Question number two. What is your favourite colour? Um, I think like black, white or gold. I'm very plain. <laughs> I don't like bright colours that much. I mean I do, but like in general, like my aesthetic, I would go for like black, white or gold. I think for like my wedding for instance, like random enough, but I would like to have like a white, black and gold team and like in most of the rooms in my apartment and my room at home in Ireland, it's like black, white and gold. So yeah, they're my favourite colours. I would say probably gold is my favourite though out of all of them. Moving on, how tall are you? I am 5'9", so yeah, kind of an average enough height, maybe a little bit on the tall side. Next question, cats or dogs? That's that just shouldn't even be asked to me. I am the definition of a dog lover. I'm obsessed. I have a dog at home. Her name is Bogue. She's the most beautiful creature in the world. I will definitely try and show you her on my channel while I'm home next time. I don't think she's ever been in any of my videos, but yeah, definitely try and do some sort of a vlog with her when I'm home this time. Question number five. How many countries have you visited? Hmm, I actually don't know. That's a toughie. I'd say if I had to guess off the top of my head, about the 20 mark I'd say, um, which is a little bit lower than I'd hoped by the time I reach this age, but I'm hoping next year will be a big travel year for me and I have a lot of places I want to take off my list, so fingers crossed. Next question, what was your favourite and worst subject in high school, which would be like secondary school in Ireland? I think if I had to choose my favourite subjects in secondary school, I would say business or maths. Well, maths until it got very, very hard in the last year. Um, but up until then, I really liked that. And I always loved business. I was always like very interested. And my least favourite, I think, probably anything science-y. Like, I hate biology. I just, I, I didn't hate it, but I just, I was just not interested that kind of way. But yeah, business and maths were my favourite. Biology, mm-mm. Next one, what is your favourite drink? This is very, very boring, but I'm obsessed with drinking water. Like, I love water. I look forward to drinking it. It's the weirdest thing. I think it's the only thing that saves my skin, to be honest, because, like, my diet is not great, and I definitely don't exercise enough, so, yeah. I think my love of water is actually what saves me. <laughs> Next question, what is your favourite perfume? Oh, bit of beauty there. Um, my favourite perfume at the moment is Chloe. The one in the little gold bottle, I'm not sure what the name of it is actually. I think it's just called Chloe. But yeah, I love that. What else? But the Lancome one as well, that's really nice. Next question, what sports do you play or have you played? At the moment I don't play any sports. Um, I sometimes go to the gym maybe twice a year. Um, but when I was younger, believe it or not, I was really, really sporty. I played basketball and football. And yeah, both me and Erica were so sporty. It was, it's actually hilarious to think about now. But I really enjoyed them. Like I loved football in primary school and when I went into secondary school I kind of got more into basketball. And yeah, I actually miss basketball so much. I'd love to start playing again. But I'm not sure where I find the time to do that, but you never know. Next question, what is your favourite book? I'm not gonna lie, I'm not much of a reader. I'm the type of person that will sit down and watch like 100 movies or 100 YouTube videos, but would be slow to pick up a book um, but I have read a few books in the past and I think my favourite book I've ever ever read was by Cecilia Hearn um, I think it's called Where Rainbows End I think or something like that and yeah it was the best book ever and they actually made a movie out of it if, if you're more familiar with movies as well like me it's called Love Rosie um, so if you've seen that that's the book um, I actually thought the book was better believe it or not um, but yeah I would highly recommend that if you haven't read it already Next question, who are some of your favourite YouTubers? Um, that's a toughie, I watch so many people. But who do I go to all the time? Uh, I love Laura Lee actually. She's, she's very bubbly and very out there but I do always enjoy watching her. Um, Manny MUA, I like him too. Jacqueline Hill, obviously enough, I love her. 
I've always loved her. Um, Lydia, Elise Millen, she's very good. Casey Neistat, love him. Uh, who else? Hmm, I'll probably think of loads now after I'm finished. I have to mention Zoella. There's so many more. I'm definitely not thinking of loads more, but I'll link some of my favorite YouTubers below in the description box, actually. Okay, question number nine, tea or coffee? Coffee, 100%, I live on coffee. <laughs> it's literally my savior during the week. I try and take the weekends off it because I think it's definitely not healthy to drink that much of it. Um, so at the weekends I drink green tea or else matcha lattes, I love them. Um, but yeah, coffee definitely. Next question, are you single or taken? Most of you probably know already, I have a boyfriend, his name's David. We live together here, um, so yeah, definitely not single. I know loads of you would love to learn more about him, um, but I don't know if I'll convince him to come into YouTube a bit more. I like to keep him a bit private. <laughs> Next question. How would you describe your fashion sense? That's a tough one. I think my fashion sense is very kind of, not all over the place, but I have a lot of different styles, if that makes any sense. Some days I'm very grungy, some days I'm very girly, some days I'm preppy. You never really know what you're going to get with me. Um, but I definitely do like to be cosy and I do like to take risks as well with my clothes. Um, I'm not afraid to wear anything that kind of way. But if I had to describe myself, I'd probably say like, I actually don't know how I would describe that. You let me know in the comments what you think my style is. <laughs> Come on, you should know what I think. Next question, what is your favorite restaurant? In New York, I'd say ABC Kitchen. I love it there. The burger is amazing and it's just a really, really nice dining experience. And in Ireland, I think I would say Bombay Palace in Killarney. It's an Indian restaurant and me and my family love it. We're actually getting it Monday evening for dinner and I cannot wait. And the next question, what are some of your favorite TV shows? All time favorite TV show, probably Gossip Girl, even though I just finished watching Sex and the City, which I know I'm so late to the game, I'm disappointed in myself, but I think it's actually topping Gossip Girl for me, funnily enough. Like, I was so sad when I finished it. I went so fast. I even watched the two movies straight after, um, and I would love a third movie. Yeah, I just obsessed. And another series that I loved was um, White Collar, really liked that. And what else? I actually am a bit of a TV watcher. I love movies as well though. I like Grey's Anatomy. Yeah, I think my new all-time favorite is definitely Sex and the City. So good. I'm like obsessed with Carrie Bradshaw. <laughs> Next one is what phone do you have? I have the iPhone 7 Plus. Um, I got it about a year ago. I like it. I'm definitely an iPhone girl. Could never go Android or Samsung. I just couldn't. <laughs> this is a funny one. What's your idea of an ideal first date? Uh, I don't know, to be honest. I don't know if I've ever gone on a proper first date, but it sounds absolutely horrific to me. Like, I'm the most awkward person in the world. Um, so I think going on a date with someone that I don't really know that well would be my absolute nightmare. So maybe like the cinema or something so that we don't have to talk or make eye contact or any of those things. <laughs> I know I'm only messing. If I felt comfortable with the person, um, I think my ideal date would be a nice dinner and like a romantic little Italian and then to go somewhere for like nice chocolate cocktails after, something like that. Or if it's in summer, maybe go to like the park and have a picnic or something. Yeah, cliche I know, but be nice. Next one is tell us one of your bad habits. Hmm, I have a lot of bad habits. I'm a bit of a procrastinator. I'll come home with a hundred jobs to do, but I'll just sit down on the couch, turn on the television and literally fall asleep, like I'm just such a procrastinator, it's the worst thing in the world about me. I wish I wasn't like that, I wish I was like organised and a get-goer, um, even though I am getting better. So hopefully 2018 I'll get rid of that bad habit for once and for all. And last but not least, what would you name your children? That's another funny one actually, um, I don't know, I would like to say I haven't thought about it, but I definitely have, who hasn't? Um, but I haven't really thought of many names that I love. There is one name that I really like and it's Silver which I know you're probably all gonna have such a good laugh at, but if any of you watch 90210, you'll know the girl Silver on that show, and I just love it. I don't know if I'd ever actually go ahead and call my child Silver, but I think it's very cool. So you never know, there could be a Silver in 10 years. <laughs> okay guys, and that brings me to the end of this video. I hope you enjoyed it. It's definitely one of those random kind of out of the blue ones, but hey, they're kind of fun. And I hope you learned a few new things about me. So yeah, don't forget to give the video a big thumbs up as usual if you enjoyed it and subscribe. I have one day left, so definitely gonna try and make the most of it and I hope that y'all are enjoying the week so far and I will see you tomorrow. Bye.